As the province prepares to roll out phase two of restarting BC, the provincial health officer has given the green light to the province's religious community to return to places of worship. She warned services would look different, but also credited religious leaders for getting creative. I'm very heartened by the stories I have heard about how people have reached out in a virtual way, or by telephone, in other ways to support members of their community. Which, of course, is welcome news for churches like St. Lawrence Anglican here in Coquitlam. Like many other churches, they had to move their service online. Eric Mason is the reverend at St. Lawrence and says preparations are underway to start welcoming back his congregation. They're ready to get back to community. They miss their friends. They miss social interaction. Yeah, we walked through the sanctuary on Tuesday and figured out how many people we can realistically hold if we have a a two meter radius around every person or every couple of people, every family. Uh, we can probably reasonably accommodate about 40 people. He says that means he'll likely have to run three or four services in place of the usual one to accommodate everyone who wants to attend, which also happens to be one of the recommendations from Dr. Henry, which include less touching as a part of the service and more hand washing options. In the meantime, expect places of worship to continue to get creative, whether it be online or holding drive-in prayer like we see here at All Saints Catholic Church on Wednesday night. In Coquitlam, David Zura, City News.